Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Monday of the fourth week of Lent, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Fallier. Alexio Divina, our divine reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verses 17 through 21. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our scripture passage. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exalt in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years. And he who fails a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, in today's first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, he speaks of a coming utopia, a totally new world of joy and gladness. It's a world that God's creating without pain or sadness, a world of prosperity and plenty. The dream for the Israelites in particular of Isaiah's time is of a restored Jerusalem after the exile but it's even a greater dream of the messianic kingdom to come. In the writings of these earlier prophets, messianic happiness was foreseen as a return to paradise, to the bliss of the Garden of Eden. But in apocalyptic literature, such as this reading from today, this first reading from the book of Isaiah today, there is seen rather a complete renewal of our present world. And it's a foretelling, it's a prophecy of when Jesus comes in the second coming. So we have the opening words today. Look, I am going to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Yes, there will be a new Jerusalem, a new world, a completely restored Jerusalem following the return from exile, and even more so in the messianic kingdom to come. You know, we read later on in the book of Revelation, the link between the idea of a new heaven and a new earth with the new Jerusalem. We read that in Revelations 21 verses 1 and 2. It will be a world free of pain and sickness, no weeping or wailing. No children will die before their time, and no one will live less than 100 years. These prophetic utterances pave the way for the coming of Jesus, who in today's gospel, and so I would recommend that you look at the readings for the whole day and read the gospel, brings healing and wholeness back to a household threatened with death. We do not expect to live lives without pain, sickness, or even tragedy, but we, what we can expect from our commitment to Jesus' way 
is to experience the inner peace which only he can give. Something to ponder. As usual, after our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage again, contemplate its message, and concentrate on a thought that the Holy Spirit places in your heart, either through a verse or even just a small word. Then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you, and more importantly, how you may spiritually grow in imitation of Jesus, fulfilling the will of our Heavenly Father. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer, and let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, and create us into a new creation, where what you have promised of less pain and sadness we experience as an inner peace because of you. So that in all things, Lord, that we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. May his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the bell icon so that you don't miss new meditations that come to you each and every day. You can help our channel by sharing these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus. Peace and blessings to all.